Okay, in this small uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you how to simulate a small uh, robot arm with Virtual Universe Pro. Uh, so we are going to uh, download uh, some uh, drawing, 3D drawings. Uh, you can do it uh, at uh, this address, this file. Okay, I'm going to put this file on my desktop in the directory. Okay, so now inside Virtual Universe Pro, I'm going to import the 3D files. Here is my small robot, so I'm going to change the names, it will be more clear. So this part is the base, this part will be the arm, and this one the forearm. Okay, now I can drag and drop uh, the different parts to create a nice structure. Uh, so, for M will be child of base and I am child of for M. Okay, great. So, uh, with this, uh, the child will move with parents like this and also like this and of course arm has no child so it moves along okay so now we are going we are going to create the, the motions uh, the most easy way is to use uh, assistant so i'm going to do it for the 4m let's open the assistant so here i'm going to uh, select a translation on uh, X axis, it's okay. So I'm going just to grab the object to the maximum position and validating this max position. Here I can select the time for uh, doing the move in one way and in the other way. One seven, why not? I can make a test. On here, I click on try and on activate to see the result. Okay, in the same assistant, I can create the sensors. So I just click on add a sensor and name the sensor. Uh, so this is for AM. I can create the for AM in sensor. Okay, so here is the move so I define I define the range of for the sensor let's add the same for the out position okay I can also make a test and see that the state of my sensor are both okay Okay, so I can leave the assistant. The behaviors have been automatically created. I can rename this one. This is the behavior for the move. So it could be output for M. Okay, let's do the same for this object the same way so this is okay this is not the same x okay select the max position right the time small test adding sensor
Okay. Let's make a test. Okay. So I can leave the assistant. I can put save. Okay, now I'm going to write a small program to activate this small robot. I'm also going to add uh, an HMI, uh, just a button to, to launch uh, the program. So uh, let's add HMI, add a button, okay. I'm going to add a behavior only to manage the state of the button. Okay, I'm going to set a name, start button. I'm going to link the button with this behavior like this. Okay, make a test to see if it works. Start button. Okay, you can see the dynamic value on here. So when I click on the button, the state is okay. So now uh, let's write a, a small program inside Virtual Universe Pro with a virtual controller. So I'm adding a controller. In this controller, a program. We can choose several languages. Let's choose function block SFC. Okay. A step and now I'm going to use this block to select a behavior as transition the start button okay now link the start button to the transition of the SFC now use a normal step okay and now uh, I'm going to use action uh, well, I, I did not uh, rename this uh, this behavior for move. I'm going to do things out before continuing. So here it will be more clear. It will be up down. Okay, let's return to the program. Let's select the good behavior up down. Okay, create the link. Now I'm going to test that uh, the arm is at bottom. Okay, okay, and new step. Here I'm going to uh, make the arm go up so uh, not necessary to add any action because this is one way action in the assistant uh, it is possible to select two actions for for one move but uh, by default this is only one action so i have only to wait that uh, the arm go up uh, i'm going to test arm top okay well, before continuing my program, I can uh, make a test right now. Just by clicking on Run. So, it is waiting the Start button. Okay, 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 nice, it works. So, I'm going to continue my small example. On here, I'm going to Output the forearm. Okay. And test that the forearm is out. Okay. I can continue a little bit more. So at this point, I can make the arm down i already used this action so in this case i have to use an or function block to activate the same action 
from different steps. Okay, and uh, also I have to continue to uh, activate this action also. Okay, like this, like this, and like this. Okay, here. I can test. Uh, I can I can also reuse one test. By example, this can be linked also here. Okay. Well, we can use this small program like this. We have of course a dynamic display on this program, so. I click on the button and I can see the program. Okay, this is a very basic one. In the next tutorial, we will see how uh, to add a, a function to attach some items to the arm. So we will be able to grab some, uh, some parts directly with these small robot arms.